All right, uh, as I promised, I am gonna start making some videos about redoing our cockpit cushions. Um, today, I'm gonna start by doing the first cutting of the fabric, which is making me really nervous. But I measured a bunch of times and I'm gonna make some paper um, sort of cutouts first and see how those look before I begin placing them on the fabric making sure that I'm getting all the stripes lined up and things like that before I actually start cutting. So I'll take you through the process of that first. Um. What I'm doing right now is I'm measuring the width of the zipper that I'm going to use because you need to add that number to um, the width of the back boxing plaque that you're going to make to accommodate for the zipper. So my zipper is one and a quarter. So I'm going to add that to the 3.5 to get the width. So my plan is to deviate a little bit from the sail right pattern of making cockpit cushions because I'm concerned about the way that the front of the cushion will look if I don't sew it exactly perfect. In the sail right cushion video, there is no piping along the bottom edge, and there is a different material that is being used on the bottom, which is the underlying fabric to allow for drainage from the water, like with water coming through the foam. Um, but if the cushion isn't sewed exactly right, that fabric rolls up a little bit, and you can see it along the front edge of the cushion. So, having not sewn in quite a long time, I'm a bit concerned that I might not make the perfect front of the cushion. So I'm thinking about, instead of having that underlaying material coming directly to the front of the boxing, that instead I will sew a small sliver, or maybe a couple inches wide, um, onto the bottom plate that attaches to the front boxing so that if there is any sort of ride up along that front edge, that what you'll see is a continuation of the fabric um, instead of that underlaying fabric that is sort of like a vinyl um, open weave fabric that looks very different than the striped fabric that I bought for the top of the cushions. What I'm doing right now is I'm creating biased cut, bias cuts for the piping uh, covering that I'm going to make. And so I've taken one large square of fabric and I folded it uh, once corner to corner and then again corner to corner. And now I am measuring my cuts, um, half, and, half of the length of the cut here, the width and then the full length and the full length, the full length, and so forth. 
um, and then I will stitch these together and then wrap all my piping. So I just made my first cut of the bias material uh, for the piping and I was cutting through the fabric with the hot knife um, and I had it folded so that it was four thick and I started thinking about halfway through about the way that the material uh, would be stuck together maybe along the edges and it was and when I took it apart in the first section like where the first two layers were together there was no problem but when I got to the bottom two layers it looks awful and I just think that they're they were stuck together really well and when I pulled them apart it's stretching the fabric in really funny ways and it's uh, distorting the stripes. So I'm not going to do that again. I guess I'll open up the fabric and um, maybe just try cutting through two layers and see how that works. Mm -hmm. 